Welcome to the Wednesday, September 30th, 2015 edition of Erner Berry's Market Video, sponsored by JBS. Today's video takes a quick look at the elasticity of breast meat demand in a record high market. Then later, a market basket survey finds staple food prices slightly lower than last year. But first, with this week's Crop Progress Report, here is your host, Nicole Bessemer. The USDA reports the corn harvest is 18% underway in the latest crop progress report, up from 10% the previous week. The latest harvest figure is ahead of 2014 progress, but slightly behind the five-year average of 23%. Corn dented has reached 97% completion, on par with the five-year average. Corn mature is up 71%, compared to just 53% the week prior and well ahead of the year ago progress. The condition of the 2015 corn crop was unchanged this week. The National Weather Service reports that the eastern U.S. will see mainly wet conditions this week, thanks to Tropical Storm Joaquim, while most other areas of the country will enjoy drier weather promoting harvest activities. Finally, 31% of winter wheat has so far been planted, up from 19% the week prior, with 7% currently emerged. For more continued coverage of the nation's growing season, subscribers should click on the news link in Comtel. In other news, here's market reporter Gary Morrison with a quick look at the elasticity of breast meat demand in a record high market. Among all the interesting developments observed during the 2014 and 2015, it's just about how inelastic global breast global breast meat demand has become. While the valid argument is made that at some input cost point switching over to tenderloins is the efficient course to take, in application, it isn't very practical. That means that buying tenderloins is simply not an option. Where it is an option, securing enough of them is a real challenge. The tenderloin is only a fraction of the frontal lobe, about 5%, and there just isn't enough turkey tenders available to serve as a satisfactory replacement. This year, at its widest point, the difference grew to as much as a dollar, one cent, and currently resides at about 85 cents. So while super high market values might be a temporary deterrent to a breast meat buyers, it's clear that inelastic demand is outweighing the practical application of a lower cost option. Thanks, Gary. Now here's market reporter Russell Barton with the results of the latest market basket survey. Lower retail prices for several foods, including whole milk, cheddar cheese, bacon, and apples, resulted in a slight decrease in the American Farm Bureau Federation's Full Harvest Market Basket Survey. The informal survey shows the total cost of 16 food items that can be used to prepare one or more meals was $54.14, down 12 cents or less than 1% compared to the survey conducted a year ago. Of the 16 items surveyed, 10 decreased and 6 increased in average price. Higher milk and pork production this year has contributed to the decrease in prices on some key foods. For more on this and other news from the center of the plate, visit foodmarket.com. Thanks, Russell. That concludes today's show. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Today's video is sponsored by JBS. For the best hamburgers, roast beef, cheesesteaks, jerky, and meatballs, start with the best raw materials. Call JBS today and find out how thousands of companies use JBS Australian Boneless and Box Beef. Contact Tom Enders at 855-814-0963 for more information.